Hello YouTube, this is Puck. Today we're gonna install uh, Mac OS X 10.4. It will be updated to 10.4.11 on a PowerBook G4. Uh, you're gonna start up the, the, the MacBook or the PowerBook with uh, the CD. And doing this, you will have to hold down the C after you hear the chime sound. So when you turn it on and you brrrm, you know, you press the C, the C key on the keyboard. And then uh, it will detect the DVD and it will start, you know, start up from the DVD. And then at a certain point, you will get here. Okay, we can choose our language. So we go from here. Okay, here we're just gonna use English as well. Let's choose Dutch. I rather had English, but then, then again, we're in the Netherlands, so let's choose Dutch. Okay, on here, on top, you will see uh, programs and select. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna choose English man I, I I don't really like the Dutch language if it comes up to computers okay here we go to utilities and then we go to disk utility because we had 10.5 on this machine 10.5.8 good working 10.5.8 on this machine but I want to downgrade it because I want to do a test with Skype I want to uh, to see if I can get Skype to work uh, on the 10.4 as well. So we will here just select the upper disk, yeah, and we go to partition, and we're gonna change Leopard and Tiger, but you can call it any name, any name, doesn't matter how you call it. Create one partition, and I will have to call it. I will call it tiger okay and now we hit partition so everything on the drive will be lost of course let that be clear okay now in fact we can click this away and we can hit continue here let's go just a little bit closer for you peeps there yeah, of course, you must read this very good. Yes, read it very good. But the better thing you can do is, you know, to read it afterwards because your computer will fall asleep and then, you know, <laughs> you won't be able to install it. So we're going to hit continue and we hit agree. We select here the drive. You see that? And we hit continue. And here you can see, uh, click to install a basic installation of the software packages, blah, blah, blah. The software you are installing requires additional uh, installation disk. Please have any disk ready. So this is OS X1. So we're going to go and let me see if I can customize something here. Um, yeah, we could uh, remove the language translations these are like 1.1 gigabyte and printer drivers I'm not using any printer on this baby here um, we could select x11 but we also it's not really necessary so we're gonna install this and uh, please have this disk ready yeah okay continue So it's checking the DVD now. I'm just gonna skip that. And in fact, this is a DMG file with uh, four disks on it. And um, well, I think it will automatically find the right disk, but we will have to see about that. But in fact, this is how to install Mac OS X onto a PowerBook. And we're gonna just let this go. And if this is done, I'll get back to you.
popped out uh, the DVD after finishing a process and uh, there we go so I'm gonna set this up real fast and then I'm gonna get back to you well there we are we just did a nice little setup here of four point whatever it is let's see what it is about this Mac this is version 10.4 Processor 1.5 GHz, PowerPC G4, 1.25 GB DDR RAM. So, DDR SD RAM. Eh? So, what we're gonna do, I'm just gonna do a software update. And we're gonna update this thing. Probably some combo update to 10.4.11. Because this is really like only 10.4 see and this is really old but we are still gonna see what we can do with this you know if it's still like useful in 2015 this old OS if we can still manage to do things with it especially uh, Skype this whole project is done for Skype and here you can see we have a Java update here a Mac OS X combined to 10.4.11 186 megabytes so yeah I'm just gonna install this I think the rest you will know here we have to insert our password there we go we agree 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 Wow, many things to agree, man. So that's it. So, um, yeah, that's how to install Mac OS X 10.4 on an old PowerBook. Well, in fact, it wasn't that hard. Eh? It was just a simple install. Only thing uh, that we saw was like kind of different. It rebooted and when we thought it was done, it was continuing the installation. But the four uh, DMG or the four discs are all on one disc and it did the automated install everything went just fine so um, that's it peeps if you still have your old power book and you want to do some testing with it you know uh, you can install 10.5.8 on the baby but you will find out that it does not run that smooth as you know uh, on 10.4.11 and is it still possible to run Skype on the 10.4.11 well that test we're gonna do in my next video so uh, if that works then I think many 10.4.11 users will be very happy to uh, to know about the little trick so peeps thanks again for watching if you think this video was of any use you know if it was any helpful just Hit it a like, subscribe to my channel and I say stay safe out there and peace out.